Galway will defend the Hill 16 end of Croke Park in the first half. Gary Sois letting the ball move in quickly. Here's Danny Cummins looking for the first point in his quarter final. And he's got it, Danny Cummins. Tipperary need to get players forward. Philip Austin, that's a beautiful ball in. Michael Quinlevin trying to get free. It's come back out to Kevin O'Halloran. And now Brian Fox shot on the way. They were patient and they were very precise. And Brian Fox with Tipperary's first score of the game in the 10th minute. First score, excellent bit of interpassing, very confident finish. Shane Walsh. Danny Cummins with sweeper Fox there. Danny Cummins! Okay, they take the point, but he wanted a goal. And Galway very slick. This is Peter Atchison. Atchison shifts it on now. Here's Robbie Kiley, and Kiley ran straight into own Curran, and a save, and it's back in the back of the net by Michael Quinlevin. The Tipperary full forward reacted quickest, and the sides are level. Well, there's no doubt about it, Dara. Every game is full of possibilities this time. Kylie gets forward, gets the ball away. It's his Hannigan was her Atchison actually who had the cut at it, but just a follow up from Quinlevin got the ball into the net. That's a wonderful response from Tipperary. Quinlevin now scored 1 2. Gary Sice fires that one in, and the Tipperary full back line were marked absent on that occasion. They could be in for a goal, goal way. No, Gary O'Donnell just couldn't pull the trigger. Oh, so direct Comer that time. Lovely angle running by O'Donnell. Just watch him. He loses the possession at the vital second as he's about to, as you say yourself, pull the trigger, Dara. That was another brilliant kick out from Evan Comerford. Peter Atchison sends it across to his midfield buddy, George Hannigan. Will Tipperary get a score out of this? Michael Quinlevin is a free man. It's Kevin O'Halloran. Oh! Could so easily have been a goal. But they're claiming the Galway defence zone. Karen is screaming at the umpire, saying it was wide. No, I think it was over the bar from yep. this angle here. But O'Halloran, I think, did damage to himself coming forward that time. But they will be have, wondering again how in God's name it's been so easy to get through the middle of the defence in particular. I just think in some respects maybe Gary O'Donnell is dropping the back little, that little bit too far in towards his full back line. And as a consequence, they, they, it's easy to get through the centre-half back position. And look, another Bernard Power kick out goes astray. Here's Jimmy Fiat for Tipperary and slotted over the bar beautifully well they are on fire at the moment Connor Sweeney brought incredible form into this game but they're stretching out that lead Galway and bother here's Alan Campbell that's in towards Michael Quinlevin and Quinlevin catches it ahead of Kine again Quinlevin hassled surrounded managed to get the ball away out to Connor Sweeney Quinlevin has it again George Hannigan in a brilliant position. He's screaming for the ball and they haven't seen him. He was totally unmarked. Michael Quinlevin, will they get a score out of the attack? You know what? They will. They absolutely will. What is happening here with Galway? What's happening with Tipperary? 1-7 to four points. The Connacht champions in all sorts of difficulty and Tipperary getting stronger and stronger and building a big lead. Well, Galway will need to just steady this thing down as we head towards half-time. They need a score or two just to send them in in a different frame of mind. Here's David Wynn, and now it's Paul Conroy. Another one they need to steady them down, and that's exactly what he's done. And that is a big moment in the game for Paul Conroy, a big moment for Galway, and brings an end to that barren spell of time without scoring. And here is the Tipperary response, Philip Austin. And it's just moved into Quinlevin. He's out in front of Declan Kine again. Indeed, it's Connor Sweeney, and Sweeney is absolutely stunning. That is brilliant. That's what an incredible point from Connor Sweeney. Oh, that's beautiful. Shows magnificently. Wonderful balance. Delightful poise. Great accuracy, and just caresses the ball inside the near post. That's a classical corner forward score. Well, one of the comments that. Uh, came back after their monster final defeat was that maybe they were 
at times a little overawed by the whole thing. They haven't been here in the All Ireland quarter final, but they've defended to do now. Damien Comer for Galway! Goal! They're back in business, and that is just what Galway needed. Damien Comer with a screamer. Three points between them. Tipperary were too open that time, and Galway have set it up for a cracking second half now. I said a moment or two ago to you, Darren, that had Comer and Walsh got on the ball or could get on the ball, Galway had the capacity to cause trouble. But that time, just there, she's so determined going forward, and that is a very, very good finish. That's a very clever kick out that time, actually, Darren. Very good moving of the Galway back line out to the side, leaving the uh, place clear for Conway. Well, look at this, they're in all sorts of bother. Connor Sweeney puts it through to Quinlan. Goal chance for Tipperary. Hit it straight at him. Really good save by Bernard Tower. But Michael Quinlan will get other chances, but will they be as good as this? That should have been buried into the back of the net. Bill Mark. Quinlevin telling them where he wants it has come through to Connor Sweeney goal they've got their early second half goal Michael Quinlevin was the decoy that time and Connor Sweeney just slid this into the back of the net 2-9 to 1-6 to 1-6 and what a reward from being free spirited they're an organised team but such a free spirited team going forward Sweeney that time just held his nerve delightfully finished it side footed into the corner of the net but that's a reward for adventurous play for it play without fear and look at that another Cluxton-esque kick out from Evan Comerford finding Michael Quinlivan who came out to midfield to win the ball for his team and Galway could be cut open again oh just wide just wide from Philip Austin Oh, that was so wow. simple, so, so simple. Wonderful bit of fielding outfield from Michael Quinlevin. Owen Kern got across to him and executed a tackle that just put him off balance. Tipperary creating chance after chance. They've wasted the last two, but still lead by 2-10 to 1-7. Oh, if they just can keep composed uh, compose at the moment, Darren, they have the capacity to put Galway away. Kevin O'Halloran from a really big distance out, and O'Halloran has slotted that over. This is stunning football from Tipperary playing totally without fear and carving Galway open time after time. They could, they should be further in front. Brian Fox of Tip. Yeah, but they're getting through here so easy through the middle area of the Galway backline repeatedly. And they're getting men running off the ball in behind the Galway defence that Galway really, really haven't copped on to. Now that's fired in towards Sweeney. Goal! Connor Sweeney! This is incredible. Galway taken apart in the air again. And Connor Sweeney has got in for his second goal of the second half. Well, and he... this could be one of those days for Tipperary. I think so. When you think about it, Dara Feehan, a delightfully floated ball. Two goal with defenders in watching it. It's all Tipperary at the moment. Colm O'Shaughnessy. Robbie Kiley. Oh, it is remarkable that you're watching a Division 3 team. Playing some brilliant football. Robbie Kiley. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. That is one of the best points you're going to see. Stunning from Robbie Kiley. That is, Wouldn't you just love to do this in Croke Park every day? That is sweet. The Tipperary defence are very, very strong in the tackle, getting numbers back and just kickouts like that are giving the possession and allowing them to attack at will. And it's, it's laser accurate from Evan Comerford. Of course, he's got the runners as well. But here they come at Galway. Look at them all over the place again. This is Alan Campbell, the fullback, Peter Atchison. Oh! It's gone over for a point. They got something out of the attack. But Atchison, I'm sure, could visualise this nestling in the bottom of the net. But again and again we have said the runs through the middle that Tiberi have done uh, repeatedly during the game have betrayed serious shortcomings in the Galway approach and in the Galway defence. That's gone over from Danny Cummins. It's Galway's first point from play in the second half. Yeah, and we just have less than 10 minutes to go. That in itself is a damning statistic. That's a beautiful score from Cummins and Fairness from a difficult angle. 
And there it is, and Tipperary have made history. That's perhaps the understatement of the year. They're in the All-Ireland Senior Football Semi-Final for the first time since 1935. A day that will live long in the memory for everybody from Tipperary. The full-time score. Tipperary, three goals and 13 points. Galway, one goal and ten. I thought the first half 